Tourism could be in danger. Airboat tours allow people to get up close and personal with the Everglades. But a giant land acquisition for the Everglades involving more than 11,000 acres could put airboat tour operators and the businesses nearby in a bad spot. Wink News reporter Michelle Alvarez joins us live from Everglades City. Michelle, what are airboat captains telling you? Amanda, they understand change is inevitable, but believe there's enough land for everyone to use, share, and conserve. Many of these airboat tour companies have been here for decades and are family owned, so the last thing they want to see is any of that go away. When you hear Everglades, you think of nature, wildlife, and airboat tours. I have the privilege of taking folks from all around the world out to explore in the Everglades. The South Florida Water Management District met this week for public input on land use for 11,000 acres just west of the Barron River, where Everglades City commercial airboat companies now run tour operations. And get to show them things they've never seen, take them to places they would never see otherwise, and I get to educate them on how the Everglades works and the importance of conservation. Mark Hickman is a captain at Captain Jack's Airboat Tours in Everglades City. He told me this is more than a business for people, it's their livelihood. It's also the engine that drives this town in general. There, there's 352 residents in Everglade City. We have a handful of restaurants and a handful of shops and businesses. Those shops and businesses are dependent on all the tourists we bring into town. If we were to stop this airboating business, that's a couple, several hundred thousand folks less that would come into town. He said businesses and locals are concerned about the future of the small community they love so much. Employment opportunities would definitely evaporate and that would leave a lot of folks here in a middle class town faced with an unaffordable commute to somewhere like Naples or outside of town here because all we have left is commercial fishing, which there's not very much left of, and tourism. So many folks would have to relocate. Aaron Tabor and David Ardeline own the Parkway Hotel and Marina and the Havana Cafe. They said their businesses thrive off people who come here specifically for airboat tours. All the restaurants in town will suffer because of it. And, and then room revenue from the motels because people aren't really, there's not that many things to do here unless you're super like outdoorsy, right? Yeah. And you're camping out on the outskirts and stuff. So that'll go down and it's just, it's just the trickle down effect. People here tell me the airboat tourism industry is a large economic engine for their part of the state. I also met and talked with Mayor Howie Grimms about land use concerns. What he has to say coming up at 5. I'm live in Everglades City, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News.